404 error here with another Okami emulator hack. Uh, this one I have called the Spectro Sword. Uh, you'll see why when the game loads, I guess. So yeah, I've learned a bit from this hack, uh, mostly about how texture animations are different from actual weapon animations or character animations, which explains some of the weird things I've seen with Oki. Okay. Alright, so here's the spectral sword, I've called it that because its texture is animated. This is this was actually an effect I was aiming for, I wanted to see if the uh, flame effect for uh, the reflector automatically applied to every model in that position, and it looks like it does. So, this thing has some really weird effects in battle. You'll notice that it does actually have the glaive animations. Uh, and it also has some weird sound effects that are not typical to the sword nor any weapon. And yeah, that'll be evident when you hear them. Just going to this guy to uh demonstrate in battle. Yes, yes, yes. Die. So you see that shares the sword animation, but the uh, reflector's hitboxes. Now, watch what happens when I do an air attack. You heard right, that was the uh, low on health animation. Er, animation? What am I talking about? The low on health uh, sound effect, and then the uh, gale storm sound effect. Uh, yeah, which really seems weird, because that doesn't even make, that's not even a weapon sound. Uh, I think that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, just wanted to show some progress. Hopefully, I'll be able to, uh, replace textures soon. Because, funny story, the editor that I'm using is built for Brawl, not Okami, and the models work perfectly, like operations with models, moving them and such, uh, but the textures are actually slightly different formats. It can view them but not write them, and I can't replace textures from the game. Eh. Unless they're already in the game, which is sort of a downside, but I don't know. Uh, that's about it. See ya.